You're watching The Isaiah Factor, Uncensored. And welcome back to the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. Parents will do anything to help their children, and that includes, so we ask, can cannabis really help a child? We spoke to a can -a mom to understand their fight. And our guest is here tonight, Mariah Barnhart, who is with Canna Moms. And of course, Mariah, for those who are wondering, Canna Moms is about moms who are looking for ways to um, provide for their children as far as illnesses, whatever ailments they have, but also using cannabis, right? Right. So Canna Moms was the first nonprofit in the cannabis sector that we started almost nine years ago now. And it was prompted by my daughter's diagnosis with brain cancer at the age of two and meeting so many other children with different diagnoses from epilepsy to other types of cancers and knowing that cannabis was helping them immensely, but was illegal in most states. Now, when we hear about epilepsy, I've heard about cannabis being used for epilepsy. How, how is it useful for those who may have cancer like your daughter? Well, I went into the use of cannabis hopeful that it would just help her quality of life, alleviate the pain, the nausea and vomiting. No medications on the market today help with those things for these kids in dire situations. And it did. It did all of those things. But we also now believe that it actually helped kill the cancer cells. Really? So did did you get a diagnosis on that? Or is that what you believe? Did a doctor say that? What? It would be really hard to prove that, right? We have a lot of evidence that leans in that direction. But her world-renowned oncologist actually left the world's leading children's cancer research hospital just a few months after my daughter started on cannabis. And she notated that watching my daughter's success on cannabis was the push that she needed to, to leave St. Jude and go do cannabis research with these children. Now, how young were, uh, was your daughter when you started her uh, on the cannabis to help her with her illness? She was two and a half when she was diagnosed. And just after her third birthday, I started her on cannabis. So how do you give a three-year-old cannabis? Is it, obviously, we're not talking about smoking, right? Uh, usually, so the way that you get any botanical extracts, the, um, you know, lavender oils, essential oils, and things of that nature, you can extract um, important parts of any plant. And so with cannabis, you have oils, and now nine years later, it's really creative. You have edibles of all different types. You've got tinctures where the dosing can be more measured and exact. So there's all types of products that are safe for children. And what are you hearing from other parents out there who want to take this route or who may be taking this route despite the laws in place? Um, I would say that it's much bigger than us. So if you're going to advocate on behalf of our children, um, it's not just about sick children and special needs families. We need to be advocating on behalf of all families. I'm here to help. I'm here to handhold. But there are so many parents like me a decade later there are so many parents who are willing to share their experiences, their knowledge, and to introduce you potentially even to doctors now. Back then, there weren't really doctors to help with dosing and things of that nature. There are now. So um, in my opinion, it's safer than any medication that's being prescribed to these children today. It's worth a shot to try. And have you started any campaigns reaching out to legislators or lawmakers where we would see a change in the law to make it much more accessible to parents out there? Absolutely. So I started uh, with Canna Moms advocating in my home state of Florida, and we passed medical cannabis here. With Wise Florida, um, we took it a lot further and said, like I just said, it's not just about special needs families. All of our children should be safe in this society. And the war on drugs and prohibition does not keep our children safe. And um, I think that we're seeing a huge turn using the same moms, the same approach, uh, just talking about how we're scared for our children's lives for different reasons. I think that we've seen a huge change in public perception on medical, which passed the medical constitutional amendment here, but now we're seeing it for adult use and for ending prohibition altogether. How far are some parents, mothers and fathers out there willing to go if it's totally banned in their state or not allowed in their state, even for medicinal purposes? How far are they willing to go to help their children in a situation like this? 
in my experience and um, based on the privilege of my experiences, I was willing to become a federal felon and I did. And because of that, I think that our neighbors saw these aren't the people we want to be imprisoning. These aren't the people we want to be calling criminals. We need to change the laws. When the laws are so bad that PTA moms and soccer moms are willing to break it and commit federal felonies to help suffering and vulnerable demographics, it's time to change the laws. And Mariah, were you ever arrested or charged with any uh, drug possession or charges related to marijuana as a result of trying to help your child? Um, not only was I not arrested, but I had sheriffs come on the news with me with possession of federal felony material and say that they would not arrest me, which I think is what over the eight, nine years led us to launch Wise Florida. Everyone should have that same privilege. And for parents out there who would like more information about the program and your organization, how can they reach out? I would suggest right now, Canna Moms is undergoing an overhaul. Our uh, most important mission right now is wiseflorida.org, which we do hope to expand nationwide shortly. So I would say getting in touch through wiseflorida.org and letting us uh, reach out to you when the time comes that this goes broader and becomes nationwide. All right, Mariah Barnhart, thank you for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored from Florida tonight. We appreciate your time. Thank you for all you do.